What is a Best Western Plus? Plus what? The free breakfast includes grapefruit. The bed sheets are threads, silkier. Not sure I really know, but when you book a night in a Best Western, you just don't feel as confident as when you book one in a Best Western Plus. So that's what I booked. It was in Waynesboro, the only available hotel room within 30 miles of Charlottesville. It was a big football weekend at the university. We thought we might explore the college town, but then we saw the brochure for all the wineries. Central Virginia is home to 200 vineyards. When did that happen? Apparently when Thomas Jefferson moved to town, Thomas Jefferson moved to town, that's when it all happened. Here's how the story goes. Jefferson brought back some wine from France after one of his trips abroad. Then he decided to bring grapes and plant them near his home in Monticello. It worked. The idea took off, and hundreds of years later, wineries with genetic connections to the man who wrote the Declaration of Independence thrive on the hills and the valleys of Middle Virginia. We had quickly settled in our room, and Leslie was working her way through the wine map. I think we can hit maybe three or four of these and still get to Lovingston on time, Leslie said. Drunk on wine for the show, I joked. I'm okay with that. But you have to play, Leslie insisted. I sat on the small love seat in the motel room, the guitar in my lap. I had put off the restringing long enough. I unwound the low E string from its paper packaging and stretched it along the fretboard, tugging the strings hard metal end into the bridge and pushing it into the pin. The tuner drew the string taut. I skipped and the A string, and then I knew it would be a lot of trouble, so that's why I skipped it. The D, G, B, and high E went on perfectly, but as I pulled the A string across the body and slid it through the tuning peg hole, the entire tuner mechanism on the back of the guitar's head fell into my lap. All of it. Every piece. The A tuner had been stripped years ago, but I'd figured a way around it. For decades, I used the lever on my metal capo like a screwdriver, placing it in the groove of the A peg, rotating it past the flaw. But now, well, the tuner itself, the metal casing, and the tiny screws that held it together had collapsed. Really? This happens right now? I had the other guitar, yes, but the Yamaha was my baby. It was a guitar in which I practiced, and it sounded better than the Ovation, cleaner, crisper. If we start at King Family and then move south to Pollock, we'd be making our way to the direction of Rapunzel's, Leslie said, studying the notes she had taken. I sat silently with parts of my guitar in the palm of my hand. That seems like a good plan, doesn't it? We could get lunch before we go, Leslie added, continuing to work through the list of wineries, checking them off with a pen. I pulled a deep breath and stared at the pieces of my broken tuner. For the first time, I was nervous. All this way with one stupid song for one stupid show in a stupid backwoods venue, and now I was faced with a disintegrating guitar. I started to sweat. Babe, Leslie asked, turning toward me with the small desk, from the small desk, expecting confirmation on the plan. Yeah, sounds good, I said. Oh, no, she said, noticing the pieces in my hand. When someone shows concern over your personal predicament, you do one of two things. You either accept the concern and wallow together in the mess of it all, or you, the one with the problem, rise above it instinctively, attempting to make it all better because deep inside, you don't want the other to feel as bad as you. Yeah, a little problem, I said. I think I have a tiny screwdriver on my keychain. It was delicate work. The screws were annoyingly teeny, as if made by tiny metal shop fairies. Do you have your reading glasses handy, I asked. For the next 15 minutes, with her girly glasses on my nose, I tediously worked the pieces back into place, tightened the screws on the casing, and adjusted the tuner snugly to the guitar's head. I pulled and tugged at the tuner, testing it to see if it was going to fall apart again, and slid the A-string through the tuning peg. Then, using the old trick with the capo, I twisted the tuner and stretched the string, then tuned the guitar and strummed through a number of chord progressions. Strings always fall out of tune until they're settled into place. I returned and returned again and then strummed some more. You got it. Is it going to be okay? Leslie asked. Yeah, it's good. I sounded more certain than I really was. 
I have the other guitar just in case. It's cool. I was doing a pretty good job of faking my worry. The tuner could decide to come apart again at any time. It's an old guitar. And there was that other concern. I guess I should try to sing through the song again, huh?